Amber Rose endorses Donald Trump for 2024 and speak at the Republican National Convention. Let's get into it. My name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur. Thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents. Whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we all want a better country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump President of the United States. Now you may be wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies. So I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. People have to do their research. I watched all the rallies, and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I realized Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> so I let go of my fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the President and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. <laughs> Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble. Just like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> And when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control. And you know in your heart, it was not like this under Donald Trump. My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. We were safer, wealthier, and stronger. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote to put 
money back in our pockets and good food on our kids' plates. Yes. <laughs> or, as Trump would say, it's a vote to make America great again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whoa. This is a turn we never seen coming. But is this even a credible, like, person to have on your team? This is the same person that believe in the slut walk movement and, you know, females should just run around and have crazy sex with people all over the place and that still doesn't make them a slut and all of these things. Is this a good move for the Republican Party? I know it's another celebrity endorsing Donald Trump and a Republican, so I guess hopefully they can have other celebrities that join in with her, which would lead to the masses start switching their tones and heading over to the Republican side, which is possibly a good thing for Donald Trump. But let's see. Let me know what you guys think.